Hello everyone, and welcome to Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty Wrench Only. Let's get straight into this. We got easy, medium, and hard. For crack and time, I'm probably gonna do something insane and go hardcore. For this, I know this game has its difficulties. But it's also very short, and there's no real way of grinding, I guess. You can't, like help yourself out in ways like that. Plus, Doors of Destruction had a lot of really cheap hits, which was definitely fixed for Kraken Time, but I'm not sure if that's going to be fixed for this one. So for the sake of just my own sanity, let's go medium. Let's do this. I am very ready. Are you ready? Because this game's really good. I like it a lot. Once upon a time, there was a fearless young Longbax who gained fame and fortune by ridding the galaxy of Emperor Percival Tachyon and Captain Romulus Slag. What a cheap shot, I tell you. Somebody unplug me, controller. But just as peace was restored to Polaris, his first mate was kidnapped by creatures known only as the Zoni. <laughs> Using a powerful computer called Iris, he finally located a clue. An old pirate captain who may possess the key to the Zoni dimension. A pirate named Dark Water. to be here somewhere. Be careful, Ratchet. Murder is an unregulated planet. Unwanted visitors have a bad habit of disappearing from here. Alas, poor Captain. No one misses you but but me. I miss you too, Rusty Pete. You may not have me body, but you'll always always have me heart. <laughs> The crew hates me, Captain. They don't hate you, Pete. They just don't understand ye. Why, you're my top first mate, you... Guys, I'm not looking for any... Trouble. Wait! We're just here to find a pirate. Captain Angstrom Darkwater? Darkwater? You hear that, lads? This mangy stowaway seeks the ear of a dead man. How's about we, re we, re we arrange a proper inter- That was weird. It's more weird because this is the digital version of the game. I'm not joking. I spent last night downloading the digital version so that there would be no glitches. Ironically, there are more glitches. <laughs> That's interesting. So, oh, the wrench seems to home in a bit more in this one. Like, it's homing, homing in on the enemy itself, which is amazing. That's extremely valuable. Okay, that's interesting. So, this game is really fascinating in the way that they released it. Because, as you may have already noticed... A good start. Um, as you may have already noticed, it's Quest for Booty, there's a lot of pirates. The game very much uses the assets from Tools of Destruction. Um, that's not to say that it's, you know, no unique um, areas or anything. That's not the case at all. Um, it's definitely got a lot of unique areas and fun platform puzzles, and it does a lot that improves upon Tools of Destruction. But, with that said, um, obviously the pirates, it's just the same assets. They don't really do anything new with the pirates, with the exception of one boss. So... Yeah, it's very much done in a way to save time. And the reason is that's because they were spending a lot of their money, and by a lot I mean all, uh, and all of and a lot of their team, I think like a couple people worked on this, or at least okay, let me rephrase that. Like they work they were primarily working on cracking time whilst the whilst like a fewer people were working on this. Because Kraken Time is the big one. It is very different to everything the series has done thus far, in the best way possible for everything. Um, and you can see why they put that much effort into everything. 
Um, you can see where the effort went. But it seems like they have tweaked a couple things. Like, the wrench seems to home in on the nearest possible source, which is very, very handy. That is extremely handy. Because that's something I'm going to need to... Uh... The final boss will be very difficult. Like, this, this game as a whole is actually pretty difficult. Because um, you don't really get much chance to level up and stuff. Uh, weapons themselves can only level up once, I believe. Um, but in this game, with the wrench, there are definitely going to be some... Not issues, just difficulties here and there. Which I'm looking forward to. But I'm also scared of it. Um, yeah, the wrench definitely seems to be upgraded. Which is nice. Oh, do I have to? Yeah, I think I have to blow down the door. Yeah, there are a couple of areas where you do have to use a turret. Um, there is a specific section later on in the game which I can think of. Um, we're just going to have to live with that. We're going to have to use a turret. Oh, poor me. Um, yeah, so it's interesting that that, that cutscene glitched out. Because I don't remember it glitching out the first time I ever played this game. So, here's my deduction based around that. It's not my Tools of Destruction disc glitching the cutscenes, and it's not... And it's also not Quest for Booty, because this is the digital version. What if buying a PlayStation 3 Slim for some reason caused the cutscenes to be like, okay, we don't like this technology, this is going to glitch out a bit. Is that even slightly possible? Because that's the only difference between when I first played this, where it didn't glitch, and now. That I can think of, at least. And it's not a disc. The disc isn't scratched. I thought that was the case with Doors of Destruction. Maybe not. So, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But, oh well. So yeah, this game isn't long. This will probably be like seven videos. So, yay, I guess. And so, the Lombax discovered the little-known Pirate Party Foul 21-13, which states, Never interrupt a band of grogged-up space pirates simply because you lost your robotic mate and seek the assistance of a dead captain. Ah, skip to the part about the curse. Whoa, spoiler alert. We haven't even gotten to hold of our island. Oh, all right. Ratchet? Ratchet? Are you all right? Uh, 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 Clank? Clank, is that you? Clank! Ratchet, are you okay? You swallowed a hell of a lot of water. Please, it'll take more than a few space pirates to stop me. Come on, let's check out the island. So, yeah. Uh... As I said, these videos won't not... Well, some of them might be a little bit longer, but they're not going to be massively long. This one will probably be around 15 minutes or so. Just because there's really not too much that... that like, I, I have a general idea of where I want to split the videos up, and there's... This game doesn't really... I don't know. It, some areas will be shorter than others. But, yeah, the uh, you may have noticed each time I level up, my health only goes up by one, and not any more than that. My health will not go up. I think it's the maximum is 20, something like that. There has to be some kind of connection. I don't know if the wrench actually gets more powerful over time, and that's one of the reasons why I'm like, hmm, yeah, maybe I don't want to, uh, 
Maybe I don't want to do anything like that, because, uh, yeah. But this is something new. Oh, there you go, I just, I used the right stick, my bad. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is something new, and it's really cool. And this is why the wrench locks on to enemies, because it locks onto the nearest source for those gadgets. And, yeah, it's very handy. Whirly, to be precise. What brings you here? A cannon! It must have been messing around with those pirates. Well, any enemy of Sprocket and his gang is a friend of the island. We're trying to contact a friend of ours, but I can't seem to catch a signal. I don't suppose you have a radio tower we could use? Sorry, miss. We had a supply beacon, but someone vandalized it last night. But if you help us repair it, I'm sure you'll be able to contact your friend. Really? Well, that is good news. Just climb to the top of each wind turbine and give the old boat crank a turn. Check out the wind turbine. I'll head to higher ground. If I can catch a signal, maybe we can ask Pete what we're supposed to be looking for. Of course, however, there's someone else to talk to. Heyo. Well, look who's here. Small galaxy, ain't it? So, what brings you to Murder Gras, friend? Well, how fortuitous. I myself am quite the resourceful entrepreneur, if you know what I'm saying. Well, if you need anything, you give me a holler. I just might have something useful for you. Know what I mean? Son, can't you see I'm off the clock? Okay, apparently I can't speak to you. You won't have something useful. Know what you mean. Um... This video is already super short, uh, also I like how you, yeah, you don't have Clank, obviously, so, there's a lot you can't do here, um, but yeah, I like how, he's like, yeah, just give me a holler, I can't do that, but yeah, um, I think it's down, yeah, down here, uh, this will open up eventually, um, or if it's not that one, something else will, um, inside there's actually nothing valuable per se, um, it's basically, there's a couple of walls you can bomb, um, but we can't because obviously no weapons. Um, but yeah, the, uh, I could just do this another way, but I'm determined to do it this way now. Um, yeah, the, inside there is just a Dan Johnson reference. There's a, like, action figure of Dan Johnson, which is pretty cool. I like it a lot. I think it's really neat. Um, okay, screw this. Well, I'm actually going to end it here. I know it's a super short video, like, incredibly short, but... Doing the wind turbines actually takes like 20 to 20, 25 minutes, I'd say. And I wanted to do that as a separate video. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to the wind turbine operator to make this a little bit longer, I guess. Oh, dang, nabby. This is the third time this year these old wind turbines have stopped working. It's sabotage, I tell you. Someone's been messing with my equipment. Problem is, these here wind turbines are about the only thing keeping the juice flowing through the island. No juice, no beacon. No beacon, no supplies. You follow? Anyways, my brother-in-law was supposed to come back and help repair these turbines, but he probably went fishing instead. <laughs> Think you could help a fella out? I'd do it myself, but I... Well, I, I don't much care for heights. Oh, I'd sure appreciate it, stranger. Couple of good turns on that bolt crank up there ought to get her going again. Good luck. Some shady character who's been hanging around the beach. Tall feller. Annoying parrot. I always see him palling around with them pirates. Dark water. Sorry, stranger. We don't talk about him around these parts on account of the curse. Well, yeah. The curse of the undead. Although, I'm not exactly sure how you can be undead. I suppose it just means alive. Oh, now I've gone and confused myself. Alright. Uh, and I'll see if I can talk to them again quickly, because they mentioned them. Son, can't you see Guess not. Alright, so I think we got four turbines to turn. Um, it's 
pretty simple. Um, nothing, I don't think it's anything that's going to change in terms of wrench only. I think it's all uh, wrench stuff anyway, or just movement puzzles. So, or movement puzzles. Platforming is the word you're looking for. <laughs> movement puzzles. Well, aren't they all just movement puzzles when you really get right down to it? Technically, yes. But accurately, no. <laughs> Well done. That that was pretty great. Movement puzzles. I like that in its stupid way. Um, so yeah, no, this is all pretty simple stuff. Um, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's all very simple stuff. You just platform and whatnot. But it's a lot of fun. These are all really fun areas. I like them a lot. It's actually a really good opening to the game. I, I enjoy it. Pretty much all the areas are fun. There's only one air, there's only one puzzle in the game which I think is kind of stupid, and that's because you can line it up as perfect as you want, and the game will be like, no, that's not right. So, yeah, you have to deal with that a bit. Yeah, that that opened up uh, from the last time. So yeah, inside is just a Dan Johnson statue uh, action figure. So you have to blow up a couple of walls to get there. So you actually can't do it until later in the game. Oh, there are five of them. Okay, I thought there were four. It's going to be weird, because I have to constantly remind myself, I don't have clank. I, I can't, like, fast travel and stuff. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. But I do like this game. Like, as I said, it was, yeah, I believe it had a smaller team, and because they were prioritising crack and time, I think... I think the gap between each game was a year. I might be wrong about that, but I know that they definitely were, uh, like, this game was like, okay... Uh, Kraken Time was definitely a year after this, I'm pretty sure, because they were like, this is shorter, but trust me, next up is something huge. And we were like, yay, cool, I like this. And we were like, good. And we were like, yay. So, yeah, may not be able to use weapons, but you do get a couple of things like this, which is pretty cool, I like these. These are, these are fun to use. Um, just basically little bomb rocks. Uh, they're kind of interesting. I assume they don't, like, disappear or anything. So, yeah, but this is how you get around the island. It's kind of cool. I like that. Um, yeah, as I said, five turbines around the island. So, yeah, it's, n it's not too bad. It's pretty simple. But the game definitely does get hard. Don't go and assume it's going to be an easy game. Um, as I sort of hinted at before, like, the title was called Quest for Booty. And they were reusing assets from towards destruction to save time and make sure they could prioritize Kraken time. Um... A lot of the enemies, I feel like pretty much all the enemies, if, if with the exception of like a boss or two, I think they're all the same. I could be wrong, but I think they are. At least all the same as Tools of Destruction. But again, the game does enough that's different to make you not really focus on it. There's no such thing. I'm sure it's nothing. I'll do some more digging and get back to you. I don't know why I really like this. I, I, I like standing upside down. There's something quite satisfying about it. I don't I don't know what it is exactly. It's just interesting. But yeah, I, I as I said, I really do like this game. Short but sweet is is a good way to describe it. Um As I, I it shouldn't take me more than three hours, I don't think. I'm I'm planning to do this in one session, pretty much. Uh, it depends on how badly or how well things go, I guess. If there's a section, there's a couple of sections I can think of which will really be a problem. The final boss is one of them. Um, but there's an armada of pirates later on, which I'm somewhat worried about. It might be really easy, I might be misremembering, but I have a feeling it won't be. Yeah, these things are on the, were they on the first proper planet of, uh... Of the game of Tools of Destruction, or were they later? Either way, they're definitely from Tools of Destruction. So, you know, even even that, that's something. But yeah, as you can see, because of this puzzle, uh, or because of this gimmick with the wrench, um, that's why the wrench homes in on enemies, which makes it way much better than uh, than it was in Tools of Destruction, because obviously we had the issue where we couldn't actually hit some enemies because you had no way of aiming it. Well, not a problem anymore. Um, because it just automatically locks onto it. It's a very clever idea. Um, and they're going to... 
That was disappointing. Um, <laughs> they're going to improve that infinitely for crack in time. Which is kind of why I'm tempted to try and do hardcore difficulty. Because that one is like the... You could argue it's the best of the series. It does so many improvements. It, it has outstanding worlds and bosses and, and an incredible story. It's just a phenomenal game overall, to be honest. Um, it, there's not much it does wrong. Um, so, yeah, it's really going to be down to how well will things go. And I'm tempted to go hardcore just to give myself an extreme challenge. That and I've never actually beaten the game on hardcore before. Beaten it on hard, but not hardcore. And that would be interesting, I think. I will regret it. I'm sure I will. Um, and it also will probably mean when it comes to releasing uh, videos for that series, depending on how hard it gets, it may not be a frequent series. For obvious reasons. I'm going to suffer. Cool. Uh, I'm going to suffer a lot. I'm going, it's going to take me a while, like some videos, I say some, every video will be like an hour, like that's going to happen. Was that there before? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. But anyway, um, yeah, every video is going to be like an hour, so it's really going to be insane, and uh, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, I'm actually incredibly hyped. I love A Crack in Time, and it's been a long time since I've played it as well. So it's going to be fascinating to see what can and can't be done. Um, but at the same time, it's terrifying. Screw it. <laughs> I'm annoyed it didn't break that open, but oh well. Yeah, no, I am uh, I am looking forward to it a lot. Also, I've got a lot of money. I can't remember what money is used for in this game, because you don't buy weapons. I guess ammo. You do buy ammo. Um, but no, you don't buy weapons in this game. You find them, because they're like, washed up on shore. In the tutorial level, we didn't really get to see it, didn't use them. But uh, you have uh, like all your weapons, or not all, maybe like most of the weapons from the previous game. Um, and you're like, hey, you can use these. Y use them now. I'm like, sweet. And then they're like, cool. Well, uh, yeah, about the whole using weapon thing. Um, yeah, they're gone now, but anyway, so yeah, that that's how it goes. So yeah, we uh, we'll, we we won't be using them. <laughs> Basically, that's the case anyway. I'm gonna try and avoid picking them up if I can help it. I'll like point out where they are if I remember. It's been a while since I played this, so I'm not fully sure. We'll see what happens. I do like this puzzle. I think it returns in cracking time though. I think so. Because the wrench gets a little bonus as a result. Oh my lord. Nice. That didn't quite go hard plan. Screw it. It worked! Hooray! One to go. I think I know where it is. I don't think it's that far away. I think it's a grind rail section, actually. Yeah, this area might not be taking as long as I thought. But at the same time, I still maintain making them shorter videos, just because it's a shortish game and it's a good way to separate them. <gasps> the mystical floating box. It's still here. Well, there's, uh, there's the wind turbines. Yeah, you still can't, uh, still can't aim the wrench in a direction. That's fun. Interesting. Fascinating. So how do we start this? Because this is where I need to go, but I don't remember how we begin it. Probably over here or something. Hi. Well, you're all dead. My health is going up pretty quickly, actually. I'm pretty sure the maximum you can get is 20, so... The fact that I'm already at 13 is... Interesting and alarming, so I'd like to upgrade, I don't know, during the final boss, maybe. That would be nice. 
But hey, we'll, we'll work that out when we get to it, I guess. I think there are two bosses in the game. Can't remember how the other boss goes, though. But I believe there are only two. I have a memory of it, at the very least. There you go. So I'm actually recording this way in advance of when it's actually going to go up. Because basically I'm going on holiday and in June and then I'm going to be... Uh, then I'm going to be um, recording non-stop with uh, the new Crash game and various other Nintendo stuff as well. So I'm going to be really flat out in terms of new videos. So, what I thought would be a good idea is just to record this, record as much as I can early, basically, and make sure I have like a month's worth of footage across the entire board. Um, I've got like 20 videos of uh, Tools Destruction to upload, and then I'll have these. Um, I've got loads of Persona 3 that I've been working on, and I also, uh, I also, I think I've got like 20 of those to upload so far. And I'm up to date with the Patreon stuff, with Persona 5, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, you can support if you want, that's up to you. Um, and I've also, uh... Um... And yeah, I'm also recording a couple other things. I'm doing a new Versus series with Satcoms. Hopefully that all goes to plan, that hasn't been recorded yet. If it doesn't happen yet, well, you know why. Um... <laughs> something's gone wrong. It's disastrously wrong. I'm um, hopefully recording something with Sam, uh, cause... He's, uh, he's visiting early June, so I'm busy, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's just so fun. It's so fun being back and just recording tons. I enjoy it. Yeah, I like this, this grind rail section. It's a lot of fun. It's cool. Whee. So yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's the turbines. Now we just got to make our way back. I'm going to impose a challenge on myself. No, not a challenge. A bet. A bet into the comments. How long do you think it'll be until I die? Because remember, this game isn't long, but it might be challenging at points. So how long do you think it'll be? Oh, hi there. Oh, hey there, pal. I heard there was a Lombax on the island, but I didn't believe it. What can I do you for? Afraid not. Looks like some bum stole the bolt straight off the power coupling. I can't connect the darn thing. A knife for some people. Anyways, if you're looking to get a signal off the island, you'll have to find another bolt. I think I saw someone selling one down by the beach. I wonder... Where'd they go that from? <laughs> oh, a wise guy, huh? Yeah, make you feel big, picking on a working class Joe such as myself? A shame. Zony, huh? Come to think of it, all Angstrom used to jabber on about them. Said they were the watchers of the universe, or some such cobbly gook. Alright then. Well, I think we can all work out exactly where it is. Yeah, we don't have to charge boots. I was wondering. Oh, interesting, the pause menu is exactly the same as well. Um, yeah, we don't have any charge boots. Fair enough. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that would be the case or not, but it is indeed the case. Hi. Well, howdy, friend. Now, what can I do for you? Well, what do you know? I happen to have one right here, procured by perfectly legal means, of course. Stop with a crowbar! How about we make ourselves a deal? That's reasonable. I'll see you around. Yeah, I think bolts are basically uh, to advance plot stuff. So, may as well get them as you go along. It's how could you resist collecting uh, money though, currency, the bolts, all the bolts. How, how could you resist that? It's so damn satisfying. Beacon Union 319, thank you for your charitable contribution. Yeah, it cost 10,000 bolts. It's better be worth it. 
That's some construction work right there. See if you can give it a good turn there, champ. I do it myself, but I'm on break. Union rules, you understand. Yeah, you put it in. So, uh, you're on break. Yep. Oh, well. Here you go. And we are back in business until we climb this. I actually forgot we had to climb this. Never mind. We're not back in business. We're nearly back in business. <laughs> Again, I quite like this as well. It's pretty cool. Oh my. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. That works. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure, yeah, no, we're, we're good. We got it. We nailed it. That should not have worked. But it did, and I'm happy. We got beacon working. We nailed it. This looks super cool, actually. Yay! Secret, you say? Hmm. Fascinating. Alright then, I'll check that out. Yay, we did it! People like us. Please give me what I need now. <laughs> Here we go. Secret time. Let's check it out. for cheap crawl cobbler, but I also met a mysterious race called the Zuni. Friendly little creatures they are, can manipulate time and space to their will. Their leader gave me a fulcrum star I can use to talk to them with once I return to Polaris. It's worth a fortune, but I wouldn't part with it for all the bolts in Meridian City. The only worry is me miserable first mate slag. It's only a matter of moons for he tries to pillage me property. But I've taken steps to defend it well into the afterlife using an ancient terrachnoid incantation and a coupon for one free curse at the whole of our magic emporium. I'll forever bind me soul to me body, so that I may protect the Fulcrum Star. He who disturbs me shall disturb the entire crew. This I swear. The Red Star ought to be locked away with the rest of Dark Water's treasure. Find that star, and you'll find your friend. Ratchet, I think I'm getting a signal. Rusty Pete to Lumbax. I have crucial information about Captain Darkwater. I'm dropping anchor at the whole of our pier. Over and and out. Well, after we talk to Pete, we're, uh, we're actually going to end it here. Because ah, now is a good time to end, I think. I think you'll agree, I think. Done quite a bit, this video. Made some nice progress. I think so, at least. Well, it's about time, mate. I've been radioing you all, all night. So have you found the Obsidian Eye yet? Yeah, but it doesn't work. Darkwater hid the Fulcrum Star. Not surprising. Chief of Beanwright never did trust anyone. Of course, we were trying to kill him at the time. Good news is, every pirate worth their salt keeps a map to their buried treasure. A map? Well, where is it? Well, that's the bad news. It's probably still with his body over in Morrow Caverns. Tell you what, mate. Why don't you let me help you find it? <laughs> what? 
Cut a pirate who's never told the truth in his life, go blankly out of his way to help the Lombax who killed his best friend and captain? Huh. Great! And I have just the pirate to help us. Ta-da! Ah! I call it Slag on a Stick. Rerouted his memory banks to his vocal processor, so he remember anything he's looking at. Now climb aboard, mateys, and put your faith in good old Captain Slag. <laughs>